Hey guys, I'm Dwayne Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to answer one of the most popular questions this time of the year. And that is, how do I install the latest iOS beta updates when Apple launches or announces this at WWDC? Now, if history is any indication, every year towards the June timeframe when Apple hosts WWDC, which starts at June 7th this year, that's 12 days as of the filming of this video, Apple launches all their major updates in form of Beta 1 for all their platforms, for the iPhone, the iPad, the Mac, the Apple TV, the HomePod, and so forth. So there's a lot to look forward to at WWDC when it comes to software. This is a developer and software event. Although there's rumors that this year we may see some hardware, maybe some new MacBook Pros be announced at this event. The main focus for this event is software. And the most popular question I get once Apple launches the first beta for all the platforms is how do I install this software on my device? So in this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know in order to install this year's iOS 15 on your iPhone for the first time, the first day Apple makes it available to register developers. So if you're super excited, don't forget to click that like button. It helps the video a ton. And let's just get right to it. The first option I want to share with you guys is a free software program or a free developer program. This program is Apple's public beta testing program. Now this one, unlike the developer program, this one is entirely free. However, once you click the links in the description and you sign up for it, you won't be able to install this major beta update until about 20 to 30 days later. That's usually the time frame in between. Uh, unlike developers that do get it on day one, I wanted to talk about this option because this option is entirely free. Although you don't get the software the same day as developer, or at least it's never been that way. Uh, we don't know if Apple will make it different this year. I don't think they will, but uh, it doesn't look like Apple uh, has ever launched the public beta for the first beta on a major software the same day for public beta testers as developers. But this one is free and you can get the software about 20 to 30 days later, about a month later after developers do get it, you can install iOS 15 on your iPhone and start testing. Now, the rule of thumb, and this is a rule that everybody needs to follow you never want to install beta software on an iPhone that you use every single day as your daily driver or an iPad because keep in mind beta software is that beta software and it means that it will have bugs it will have issues things will not work the way that you're normally accustomed to so don't ever install beta on a primary device unless you understand those risks. Now you want to select here for public beta, you want to select the, the iOS, iPadOS, macOS, tvOS, the software that you want to test. So in this case, iOS. So we're going to scroll down, it's going to show you some backup information that you need to uh, do, or things you need to do in order to proceed so you can back up all your data. Obviously, that's also the smart thing to do here. Once you do all that, all you have to do is download profile. This will give you a pop up here, you click allow, and then we can head on over into settings. And in settings, you'll find a profile here. Click install, enter the passcode, the same one you use to unlock your iPhone. Click install, and then once you click install again, it's gonna ask you to restart your iPhone, and this will install the profile onto your iPhone. And once that beta is available, you can head on over to general, software updates, and this will populate the latest iOS 15 beta. Again, this is a public beta testing program, so this will be around a month later. Now, if you wanna get it on day one, there's also a developer program. Now, the difference here, as I mentioned, this one is not free. It is $100 or $99 a year, so every year, uh, you have to pay a hundred bucks in order to have access to Apple's developer portal. And once you sign in into your Apple ID on this website, which of course will be linked in the description, you'll be able to sign up for Apple's developer program. You'll be able to enroll here. You want to go ahead and read the terms of service. If you agree, just make sure you click agree and submit your application. It's gonna ask you for personal information, credentials, and things like that. If you don't choose to download the application, you can continue on the enrollment right here on the website. It's gonna ask you for general information. And once you enter all your information, you're gonna get a profile very similar as the one we just got for the public beta testing program where you click install on the profile, same process after that. So just make sure you enter all of your credentials right here. And as you can see here, once you enter all of your credentials, it's gonna go over some of the terms, the pricing, 
the longevity of the actual profile or developer account and then you can click purchase and this will take you directly to purchase the apple developer account right here enter your apple id and password and sign in and the final step will be to add your payment method and once you complete that this will redirect you to apple's developer portal where you'll find the profiles for all the latest beta now of course this one here says ios 14.7 because it is ahead of time ios 15 isn't out as i mentioned it will be out in the next 12 days but all you have to do once it is available for registered developers after you install the profile here is check for updates just like we did with the public beta testing program so right here we go to the actual profile that was downloaded we install it the same way right here and then all we have to do is restart our iPhones and check for software updates. And this will give you the latest iOS 15 once it is available. So two methods in order to obtain the beta. One, of course, it's free, but it takes about 30 days after the first beta is launched for developers. But if you want it the same day, you do have to have the developer account, which costs $100. Now, you can also add additional devices. So if you have a friend that's a developer and he wants to add your UDID to their developer account and allow you to have access to the developer portal then that would be cool as well i think apple allows up to 99 devices per account and this is how you do it so just a heads up if you guys want to install ios 15 on day one developer account gives you access day one but it costs 100 bucks the uh, public beta testing program is absolutely free but it takes about a month in order for you to get the actual beta on your device let me know what you think in the comments down below are you looking Looking forward to iOS 15. Will you be installing it on your devices? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.